Hey, we're Mark and Julie Bennett from RV Love here in Reno, Nevada at the headquarters of Battleborn Batteries. And we're here with our new RV. We want to get this decked out for off-grid camping and traveling around the country. We're going to learn all about their new products and technologies and see what's going to be the best fit for our rig and how we like to travel and camp. Let's go inside to meet up with one of the technical specialists to design a system that works for us. Hey guys, thanks for having me in your new RV. This thing is awesome. Yeah, great. We're excited to have you in here. We yeah. just got this a few weeks ago yeah. and we're really enjoying it. I love mm -hmm. the space. It just, yeah. it's, it's bright, it's roomy, it's open. We love our home it is. Ceilings, yeah. Yeah, I love the kitchen. Absolutely. I mean, the kitchen is great. And if you're anything like me, part of traveling is eating well. Oh yeah. And I'm, I'm hopeful that you guys have some big plans for cooking off grid, you yep. know, boondocking, all of the above. Is that, is that yeah. sort of what you're thinking? Absolutely. And that's why we wanted a much more residential feeling RV this time. Mm, Cause yeah. we, you know, we've had Battleborn since 2018. So over five years oh, now. And our yeah. first RV was very residential. It was a big mm -hmm. class A motor home and it had a big Battleborn system in it. And we could just not think about the power running a lot of electric devices. You yeah. forgot we powered an entire RV renovation using we, Battleborn we, batteries and our solar. Too, the whole yeah. thing was off grid renovation. Tile saws, the whole works. That's it was awesome. awesome. But most RVs, are not going to be using tile saws for their... No, no. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> and our other two RVs, they were much smaller, and yeah. so they had smaller systems, but they also weren't as as conducive to doing a lot of home cooking and doing yeah. a lot of that environment. So we had to... This one, we're going to be able to be, spend a lot more time yeah. and a lot more comfortable. Absolutely. It's, like, could... it's like an evolution of sorts, both mm -hmm. with, yeah. you know, not, not only the RV, but how you use the RV, and, and even more so with the batteries we can offer now, you know, it's yeah. just that continued evolution. Yeah. But you know, the, the big things that we're always trying to help you understand is yeah, with a bigger RV, typically that comes maybe bigger power numbers yep. more mm -hmm. batteries, more solar. Yeah. And if you plan on, you know, on doing any, any sort of time off grid boondocking, dry camping, we certainly want to make sure that you've got the right power system to do everything you want. Because, you know, I see, you know, a nice big microwave. I see your Instapot. You know, you've got a nice gas range. Um, yeah. Residential fridge. Residential that's, fridge. That's the big one. That's yeah. actually one of the big reasons why we got the first in, install was because we wanted a residential fridge in our mm. RV. Absolutely. This one has that. And that's probably one of our biggest draws, our biggest needs, because that has to be powered all the time. Right. You know, we can cook with electricity or propane if we need to, but this has to be on all the time. And we'd like to have some outlets run at night, you know, maybe for a CPAP machine or, Absolutely. you know, so we need to have power needs that are there when their sun is down as well. Yeah. It's sort of like, uh, you know, thinking about cooking, following a really good recipe. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you follow everything by the numbers, then we're going to get a fabulous result. Mm -hmm. And the same sort of true when we're designing a, a power system mm -hmm. for any of our customers. You know, if we start going and we look at, you know, what is this fridge draw? What does that microwave draw? How much do we use the Instapot and, and mm -hmm. how much power does it take? And we start to lay out the, the roadmap, so to say, of what a day's power usage mm -hmm. looks like. Well, then all of a sudden the bones of that system start to really present themselves where we can see, okay, well, we need at least this much in amperage, you know, in amp hours to power the system. And then if we're going to be off grid for any significant amount of time, then we know how much solar we're going to need on the roof mm -hmm. or thrown out next to the RV to support that. And, yeah. and so for us, you know, understanding your creature comforts, understanding those bare necessities, you know, from cooking to entertainment, maybe run in the fireplace a little bit, mm -hmm. or you find yourself where you need to run that air conditioner for a couple hours, mm -hmm. we can make sure that that system that we designed for you guys is as good as, as, good as it's gonna get, and there's not gonna be any want of you know making this feel like you're right at home. Absolutely, and, yeah. and this is really about future-proofing too, yeah. and to know that you know we know it's an investment, but we wanna get the right one right the first time. Mm. Uh, we cook a lot. And we yeah. eat in a lot, yeah. and we love that. And that's you know, but we love to be able to do that from anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we Absolutely. like staying in campgrounds with hookups, but we also love being out off the grid. So we, you know, I think we call ourselves glampers. We're right. I think we're like the best of both worlds. Yeah. And sometimes it's mm -hmm. great to be in a campground, and other times it's just nice to be out in the middle of nowhere, or even just camping at an RV event or a rally with other fellow RV friends, mm -hmm. and right. where you're not plugged in. 
Well, Matt, that's the beauty of Battleborn batteries with rooftop solar panels is that we can get you that reliable power mm -hmm. that you need. So that way there, there's no thought of, well, do I need to find a campground tonight to mm -hmm. plug in and make sure that I'm good to go? And, you know, like we talked about with the evolution of your RVs and to finding, you know, the perfect one for right now, mm -hmm. we've had a, an evolution of our batteries as well. Mm -hmm. And so moving forward, now we've got smart batteries and these smart batteries can tell you so much more about what they're doing than the past batteries. So you can pull up, you can look at the app mm -hmm. and we can see the whole system on here. So mm -hmm. all the info has been aggregated together. You can show, you know, all your system info. You can go and you can look at individual batteries mm -hmm. and their state of health on their own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it eliminates a lot of the guesswork that we used to have with a battery monitor because that battery monitor had to be wired up right and it had to be programmed correctly, and then it's gonna give you some calculated info. This is actually taking info from directly inside the from smart inside batteries. Inside the actual mm -hmm. battery, and individually. You're seeing exactly what's mm -hmm. going on, even mm -hmm. to the point where it can send you a push notification like a text, mm -hmm. and you can say, hey, something needs my attention. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really going to improve the, you know, the data that you're being yeah. shared from the new batteries, and again, like the RV, we're going to evolve that power system with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds cool. And it looks like you're able to do that both here in the RV and remotely as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can look at everything, you know, within a nice 80 to 100 foot range in and around the RV. Mm -hmm. But if you step away, you go for a hike, you want to make sure that your pup's okay. Yeah. You can pull your phone out from anywhere in the world and say, hey, I've got good power good state of health in my battery bank yeah. and things can continue to run and keep everybody happy. That's awesome. It's man. really cool. That's what we love about Battleborn. It's always <laughs> been just, it just like, works, right? And yeah. that's why, you know, even though this RV had an existing lithium battery setup, yeah. we just, we know what we want. We wanted to get back into the Battleborn equipment because that's what we know and trust. And Absolutely. we wanted a whole system that enables us to camp off grid. We don't have solar panels. Right. So in terms of designing a whole system that can just help us get out there and just, you know, enjoy being out in be right at home, wherever we are. We'll give you a full bumper to bumper solution. It doesn't just have to be batteries from us. Yeah. We can help you with the solar, with the inverter, with mm -hmm. whatever you're looking for. And again, that's why it's valuable for us to have these conversations because we can get to know you, your mm -hmm. power draws, and how ideally you'd like to charge your batteries. Yeah, exactly. awesome.